Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury Three Three, bringing you the Zero K U.S. North America tournament. Really called U.S. but North America tournament. It's basically normally we have our monthly tournaments at like two in the morning here in Western Canada. So we're having another tournament that's actually a bit more reasonable, two in the afternoon. Well, okay, there's some confusion over time, but yeah, it's two in the afternoon. So we're gonna have this. It's gonna actually be a bit different than normal. Then after that, it's so it's gonna be Swiss. That, that's actually the big difference. It's gonna be a Swiss tournament. So we're gonna be watching Kane and Lowry, and then once that's done, Jasper and Old Ghost Doctor. And then after that, Vermin Klon and Elfkebot and Orphelius are being played on their own. They're playing in parallel. And then when that's done, we go to oops. we go to the next round. But. Now we have chosen the map, so we are going... Yeah, the map being chosen by striking what's going for, so... There's a list of three maps. It's also kind of different. There's a list of three maps people have, and each player takes it in turns to choose what map they don't want to play on, and then you go to the map. It's... This is going to be a bit different. But it should be overall this... Oh, it's pretty similar. It's just... It's Swiss rather than single elimination. So we're going to have Kane and Lowry. Kane over in the... Probably starting to believe in the northwest corner of the map and louder in the southeast. We'll see though. And I just realized I should make that those metal spots a bit bigger. That's a bit better. And unfortunately it's not in the screen, it's just on the ground. That'll work. So yeah, as you can see, this is everything is all plus two. So Titan Duel, fairly familiar map. We've seen it all before. It's not particularly new or different, but yes, it is. It is a map that I'm sure you have all seen before. And we're also on version 1, 1. 1.2.11. So there have been some updates. Biggest update is there's no more morph system. The morph system is gone. Like it's just, it's done with. I mean, there is still morphing for the Aspis Aegis and the Sneaky Pete and Eraser. Those still have their costly, their cost-free morphs, as does the Geo to the Moho Geo. Otherwise, all morphs are gone. Experience morphs are gone. I don't know. I think experience itself is also gone. Like, the effect of experience is basically gone. So anyway, we're starting up. And we have Kane. So Kane over here in the northwest side of the map going for Hovercraft. While Lowry in the southeast goes for Heavy Tank. Which is a little bit unusual when you think about the previous games where Lowry has been very much in favor of Hovercraft. But now Kane going for Hovers. And this is... Possibly Kane being a little bit wary of the fact that they are playing against Lowry. I mean, as you can see, Lowry is considerably more skilled than Kane, or at least has had a, has a higher record than Kane. So Kane's probably feeling fairly intimidated. Lowry going for heavy tanks, however, which is something that is a little bit tricky to pull off. We've seen a lot of heavy tank play before, and the thing is, heavy tanks. Lowry is also a big fan of heavy tanks. I mean, before Lowry was jumping on the hovercraft bandwagon, they were huge into heavy tanks. So I'm not surprised. But anyway, the thing with heavy tanks especially with Kodachi, is that, I mean, Panther is not so much, but Kodachi in particular, you have to be really careful when you micromanage them. You have to be very much cautious about making sure that you do not lose them early. Now, of course, Kane playing Hovercraft is actually a little bit tricky. I don't, I wouldn't recommend doing this just because the tricky thing about hit playing Hovercraft, you need to get a Dagger Ball up or you need to switch to Maces quickly. And it looks like, given the build order, Kane is actually going for Mace Scalpel pretty early on. They aren't really going for Dagger Ball. And trying to hunt around, but this dagger's going to go down. And the thing is, if they can't build a dagger ball, they have to rely on the maces and scalpels. And even then, that's a s tricky thing to do. Still possible, but tricky. So Lowry, as we see, is now finding Kane's base. Was now to find Kane's commander. Should be able to get rid of the radar here. Might get rid of the metal. No, not even. Getting pushed back by a well-placed Lotus. So dagger also avoids it. Yeah, the dagger ball needs to be built up. Kane is now letting some resources go to that. And it has morphed the commander too. Light particle beam, nothing too special. Clisto on the other hand, yeah, that's Light Particle Beam for Lowry as well. So both players going for Light Particle Beam as their commander. That, that's what they are doing. Kane has... Actually, let's see, four daggers so far. Well, three daggers, one in production. Compared to the... Compared to, like I said, the one Kodachi from Lowry. And Lowry does not want to lose the Kodachi. However, Lowry can tear apart these daggers very quickly. We saw it during the 2 2 tournament how much daggers can be destroyed by Kodachi's, and Lowry, are they going to go for it? And 
No, they're not. They are trying to lure out these daggers. I think they're trying to. I think Loudy's trying to lure them out to get around a different angle, like lure them in one direction, pull back, go around, and then attack from basically an undefended side of the map. But Kane is not falling for that. Kane is keeping the daggers at home, just building up a ball, making sure they have as many of them as they can get. Well, Lowry, on the other hand, now is starting the Panther production, and this is where it's going to get scary. Although, still going Panther Kodachi, but yeah, probably going to switch to Panther Ball pretty solidly. That's what we typically see, is a large Panther Ball very quickly. Because, of course, Panthers just they have instant hit weapons, they paralyze. They're just a generally good unit overall, and Panther Kodachi, as a group, especially against the Daggers here, that is going to be scary for the Daggers. Five daggers will probably not be enough. It'll depend a lot on how they're positioned. If they get all their shots off at once, that should be. Just for reference, so we have 300 here and... Sorry, it's not 300 HP. It's 110 damage. 750 HP. Yeah, if they all get their shots off twice... This is going to be really tricky, though. And the panther's like... Nine, yeah, 1,000 HP. One of the daggers already going down. Another one getting stuck out and getting killed as well. Kane not really able to deal too much damage, though they do keep... Isn't that... That dagger will live. 29 health, but it survives. Bit of a risky play, though. And Kane... Kane needs to pull their daggers back. Get them healed up a bit. And it has already, like I said, switched to maces and scalpels. Which makes a lot more sense, given the heavy tanks. I'm a bit surprised that Kane actually continued going for daggers as much they, as they did. That is rather surprising, but they did. That's what they did. Now, Kane also... I should point out, actually has nothing being built up for caretakers or anything. Neither is Lowry, neither player really focusing on getting their production out too quickly, but Kane is going to need it more than Lowry, I think. Just because Lowry has a bit of an advantage right now. I mean, they have army by cost advantage. They had the advantage in just being better at micromanagement, so they're going to be able to keep the units alive better. Whereas Kane, Kane, like I said, needs to get this dagger ball or get a bunch of maces and scalpels, one of the two. Either way, they need a lot of production. And they are focusing now with a quill, which is good to see. Lowry, not so much. Lowry actually switching to, well, getting a banisher up, which is fairly expensive. That's, that's like three times the cost of what they have. So that's the entire cost of what they have here, and then some. Like 100 metal more expensive than their current army as a whole. But they're pretty confident. And so they should be, although admittedly, at this point, the territory is fairly even. Kane isn't falling bar far behind, but now is getting attacked. And in comes that panther, in comes getting rid of that quill, and Kane... Kane GG's? Oh, no, 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 they're putting in a marker that's saying they're... I'm gonna turn that off. Yeah, Kane's not too confident here. But like I said, this is Swiss, which means that Kane will... If they lose, they will fight against someone else who also lost their game. And then Lowry, if they win, they'll fight against someone else who won their game. So it'll get harder or easier. If you're losing, it gets easier. If you win, it gets harder. It's not brackets. Kane is not out of the tournament. No one's out of the tournament for the rest of the tournament. Everyone who's in, we will see them play later, although I probably will try to avoid casting the same players twice, but that's unavoidable. I will end up probably getting the same... At least one of the care, one of the players will be repeated. Yeah, and we're seeing total mace scalpel, and Kane is focusing very heavily on pushing production. This is good to see. Kane knows what they're doing here. And Lowry, on the other hand, is getting a caretaker very quickly, which is... Actually, a bit slower. So Lowry is going to fall behind, but not too quickly. I mean, Lowry is basically just accessing, but they don't have much to worry about. They have territory. They have army. They have the banisher now, which means these daggers are pretty much hooped. The scalpels will have a much easier time, but the daggers, no. The banisher even coming in here. Getting rid of a solar collector right off the bat. But yeah, banishers, one thing about them, they are fairly frail for their cost. Like, 1650 HP for 780 metal, that's... Compared to when you say the Reaper at 1600 HP for 850 metal, Banishers are glass cannons for their cost. So killing them is going to be fairly easy, but actually getting in to deal the damage to kill them with is going to be tricky. Yeah, That's going to be tricky. That's going to be difficult. The yeah, Kane now is starting to pay off. They're starting to get the production advantage, getting some Halberds in as well, just to tank the shots from that particular Banisher. And the Reaper coming in afterwards, while Lowry goes for an air switch as well. So that Reaper's going to take another few seconds. Now it's pretty much up. So Lowry is once again ahead in economic and army value. Not so much economy, but army value, yes. Kane Kane's still building up. I mean these these halberds are being just pushed off the factory floor pretty quickly. A couple of them so far. Actually no, maybe not. What Kane? Kane, you forgot to build units. You might want to get your queue going once again. Rather necessary thing. Anyway. Once you see that going through, we get the 
Banisher actually gets a nice shot in. However, the Maces do tank out the shots and kill off the Banisher. Banisher's down. That's actually a fairly big blow for Lowry. As long as Kane can keep these units alive, Kane can just go around the map, harassing everything, tearing everything apart. And that will... Especially if they get rid of Lowry's commander, because that's a lot of build power that's focused very much in the north. However, this Reaper is being a nice distraction. And also, these Scalpels are not able to fire right now. The Kodachi's able to get a bunch of free shots in. Killing off one of the Panthers, but still, that's a lot of free shots the Kodachi's got. Sorry. Yes, the Kodachi's got the free shots. Scalpel's getting rid of the Kodachi's eventually. And Dagger's coming in to help out. But at this point, Kane does lose their force. And that was a big loss. They really would have liked not to have lost that. However, the Halberd at least getting some damage in. But that was huge. I think that's going to be a game-ending blow. Kane's going to be rebuilding as fast as they can. But Lowry has already gotten the caretakers they need. At this point, Lowry is not wasting resources anymore. And Lowry is ahead by resources, ahead by army. It's still pretty tough. Their territory advantage is pretty similar. And Parsifal's pointing out, turn up Parsifal is the one who organized this. Thank you, Parsifal, for organizing this. Very kind of you. But anyway, Parsifal pointing this out. I guess they're watching this game as well. But this battle is pretty close to decided. Like, Kane will be able to get a few more units and getting an air switch as well, but this is a big deal. I mean, these. These bombers are going to come in. The three bombers is enough to kill off the commander. And yes, they're going straight for Kane's commander. So that's going to go down. That's going to be another four metal down. Not to mention the build power over here is exclusively this commander. Whereas Lowry has this here. And down goes... There we go. That's done. That commander is dead. Lowry's commander, on the other hand, doing just fine. Building up the northeast side of the map. No problem. Like, Kane is just falling slowly behind. They're probably going to go for some ravens. Yes, they are. There are the ravens. They're going to go for the Ravens, try to take out Lowry's commander, but even then, it's going to be... Seriously, first of all, why are you chatting in here? I thought you were streaming. Anyway. Lowry now with this, with the Ravens here. Yeah, Kane just throws in the towel. They realize they can't do much, because they couldn't, really. It was far too far behind. So Lowry takes that, and we will have... That's the first game, so Lowry, well done. Lowry won. 1-0. Right. So at this point, I don't know about the other matches being done. I don't believe they are. At least haven't been reported. So Lowry wins against Kane. They have one point so far. While the Jasper has Jasper come in. So the next one I want to cast is Jasper and Old Ghost Stalker. But I don't see Jasper at the moment, which is rather disconcerting. No, Jasper's apparently not showing up. We may, we will need a sub then. Anyway, that is going to be. So the next one's going to be Old Ghost Stalker versus whoever. And Old Ghost Stalker actually doesn't. Oh, Old Ghost Talker's already here. Perfect. So yeah, if we can get Jasper in, that'd be great, but I don't think Jasper's here. So given that, we will be moving on to probably... We'll see. Not really sure who we're going to be moving on to. I'm guessing... I'm guessing it is going to be a sub or just old Ghost Talker gets a buy, at which point I'm not sure who I'm going to be casting for the next little while. Looks like Elfgebot and Orphelias might be done as well. Where is Orphelias? Okay, so Orphelias is not playing yet. Ah, Orphelias won against Elfgebot. All right, so that has been determined. So Kane and Alphabot might be fighting each other, and Aphelios and Lowry might be fighting each other, depending on how Vermind and Klon go. Now, once again, Jasper and Old Ghost Talker have no idea. The Jasper's not here. Okay, well, it looks like yeah, Sprung is going. Sprung is going to be subbing in for Jasper.
Okay, old glowstar gets a buy. Never mind. I will have to just modify that then. That sucks, but oh well, it happens. So yeah, old ghost stalker going back to the tournament brackets. So now old ghost stalker is the one with a buy. We'll be fighting against Orphelius and okay. So I want to play. I want to watch. Actually, I want to watch Clone and Lowry. I'm gonna watch Clone and Lowry first, and then. Hmm. Do I want to do a second one? Yeah, I want to see Clone and Lowry, and then I. Yes. I don't know. With three matches, I don't really want to do two. So I'll just do Clone and Lowry. That's what I'll do. Alright. So we'll have Clone versus Lowry once they are set up. Yeah, whoop whoop Aufgebot gets a buy. So Aufgebot has a buy and so one point so far. So yeah, we're gonna have to deal with buys now since there's only seven players and not eight. But it happens. Anyway, once that's so yeah, Clone and Lowry, where are they? I need to find Okay, Clone and Lowry are in here, which is perfect! Alright, so they can get everything going. And Elfkabolt is going to have to pass the time for the next half hour. Well, probably less than half an hour, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm kind of patterning this off of the way that this is done for... What was it? It was... Yeah, the Skull Bats, or the Skull Girls weekly tournaments, and they usually have Swiss, and people casting that typically just pick two matches, but then again, that also takes like 10 minutes for each match, like each best of five, because we're talking about a fighting game. This is more like 10 minutes for each game. But then we're going to be starting in Titan... No, 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 okay. So yeah, the next map... You have to pick the next map. from Red Comet, Icy Run, and Alien Desert, which will probably be Red Comet. Oh, whoops. Okay, yep, we are going to be playing on Red Comet, this match, Clone and Lowry. Should I probably write that down? 